I found it was a two-way exchange. It wasn't me just teaching the girls. I found that I gained a huge amount from them. It looks really good on your CV if you have something like that on there. And it was really good fun to do, so to have the opportunity to do that again would be brilliant. It's important that the award itself is a process for young people to engage in activity, but in a meaningful way. Oh, it has loads to offer. It gives young people the opportunity to, to, to work in teams, to develop their performing skills, to go to performances and to develop their evaluation skills. So it's a rounded qualification and it encourages people to develop themselves. For, for a young person, the Arts Award is an opportunity for them to develop their understanding uh, of the arts uh, through participation in activities, uh, opportunities to uh, attend performances, to, for them to teach other young people about a skill that they have relating to the arts, uh, and, but, and most importantly for them to create their portfolio. Uh, the, the portfolio is their evidence of their activity, uh, participation in these opportunities, and uh, the portfolio will then enable uh, them to achieve an arts award either at bronze, silver or gold. Well, it's split up into four different sections. So you've got learning something new, teaching something to someone else, going to watch a show, and writing about your hero or your heroine. So I thought because I'm very into performing arts, I'd do something along those lines. So for my learning something new, I went to a singing lesson with Ms. Rottington, who taught me some breathing techniques. Um, for my teaching something, I went to my local drama club and taught a session there, and they were fine with that, and that was really good fun. Um, Elijah took us to Kensington Palace for the day, so I counted that as my show, and that was, that was such a good experience. And for my hero or my heroine, I wrote about Dolly Parton. I chose music as uh, my arts award because I'm part of the Lincolnshire Youth Symphony Orchestra, and I felt that it's a big part of my life, and. I wanted to do um, a qualification in something I enjoy. I'm going to Kensington Palace because it was it was unbelievable. Um, the exhibit itself was getting taken round and having a look at everything, and we actually met Amanda Holden as well, so that was that was really good. The highlights for me for, were going to my orchestra and um, taking pictures and taking recordings and then coming back and then digitally importing them onto my ebook. Through participating in the Arts Award, young people will develop key skills. Uh, these will include uh, organisation skills, leadership and management skills, uh, coordination skills. Uh, it's important that the award itself is a process for young people to engage in activity but in a meaningful way so that their experiences are then documented within their portfolio which then contributes to them achieving either gold, silver or bronze. Well, the big thing is, it's the start of a process, and the benefits that this award gives to the young people is that they can go on. Uh, we're doing the bronze award, but then there's the silver and the gold, and the more advanced awards can be used as points to university. So, they're not just developing skills and gaining a national qualification. What they're actually doing is laying down possibilities of getting, them in, getting themselves into university and college courses. So, I think it's just loaded with opportunity.